Alright, we are back with some more dot hack GU. The last recode, volume two. We are continuing on with the main story. Let's jump right in and see what happens. More cutscenes. <laughs> They're here! Hmm? Who are you? We're searching for the criminals who have been spreading viruses all over this world. If we PK everyone, we should be able to find the culprit sooner or later, right? And once we do, we can finally return to our own world and be done with this place. <laughs> Tough break, guys. Are you serious? So you're PKing because you couldn't handle the anxiety? What was that? That's it. No mistake here. These guys are definitely the culprits. Get here goes. This is a piece of cake. Those guys just now were PKers from Kestrel, right? Yeah. This is bad. It seems then like we better hurry and find a solution. Uh, let's see. I thought I was able to change the weapons mid combat, but it's not letting me do that. Huh. Maybe it unlocks later on. I don't, rem I don't remember. However, uh, what am I going to do? What am I going to do? Why am I tired for it? Uh, what was I gonna do? I forgot. Equipment. 10% health. Interesting. Okay, now what would I take that off? That's, that's, that's not worth it, I'm sorry. That's, that's not worth it. No, we need more shim spheres. I'm kidding. <laughs> We're set for a while. We don't need any more at all. Are you nuts? This area is full of PKers. Perhaps there's a connection between them and the Ida signals. We'd better be. I want to fight that thing out there. Yeah, can I fight one of those? That'd be fun. Well, here goes! Um, oh yeah, I was gonna look at my stats. Where's that at? Um, let's get my sword up some more. Choose the broken sword. Justice prevails. Damn, this is bad. Let's use the broken sword. Okay, so we got teleportation bullshit in this map where we okay. You're open! Justice prevail! Easy, paisy, lemon freaking squeezes. Here's our chance. Oh. 
This sword is so fun. <clears throat> okay, tough guys, bring it on! Thunder! <laughs> <laughs> Oh, hit the mic. I accident. Someone leveled up. I'll crush you. Of course we won. <laughs> Okay, so that's all of those bozos. Now for the next wave of bozos. I see a tree, but I don't need a tree. But we're here, I'll take it. We're done. You're not getting away! Done. No doubt about it. I leveled up, but I didn't get a new skill. How sad is that? Whatever, game. I see how you are. Not that I care. You're not getting away. <laughs> Done. Of course you won. Do you really have to bend over for the camera lady? Good lord. Have some modesty. Oh, we need some more gems. Not. Here goes! <coughs> Can't move. I'm stuck. Was I gonna move like that? Like, why not allow me to walk forward or backwards? And that's it. Or cancel the or hold the charge, but lower the sword. Like, I'm going the wrong way. Like, it, w it would make more sense. Oh, I found something. Now we got a bullcrap fight over there. Yay. I'm gonna rage like a madman. Hallelujah. <coughs> Your guard's down! Not even using mana or SP as it's called because there's no need for it. Ida, a sail. Let's take it out. I got it. All right. Come on. Come on. I'm right here. Sky. <coughs> And now the douchery begins. This thing is higher level than me. Or not. Oh no, my nose itches. Ah. I'll take the hit, who cares? Hey. 
I'll take the hit, who cares? Got it! The fate does really easy compared to the actual boss fights. Thank God! Because in the original version, you couldn't do what I did there. You weren't you weren't you were not allowed. Good. That takes care of the Ida signals in this area. To rush forward and simply attack it like a madman. You actually had to shoot it, wait for its guard to go down. Yeah, it it huh? was a short mail. It's Nala from Moon Tree. I have heard that you're investigating this area as well. I'm sorry, but please come to be simple. I'm just going to ignore the idiots because, yes, they're not really worth my time or the points. So, for the ones that I have, you're to open. Find. You wanna dodge? Well then I'll just slam a sword on your face. Justice prevails. <sighs> cool. Have fun dodging a super overpowered broken sword that I accidentally sold and bought a new one. Because yes, but who cares? Yes, yes, what perfect timing. What's this about? I'm afraid I have no idea. I just arrived here myself, but you can hear voices coming from inside. I think we should go find out who's in. Yep, we should definitely go inside and see what's going on. Kestrel's guildmaster be... Ovan! Oh, it's you! Ovan, why are you here? Hmm, I wonder. I didn't ask you. I suppose you could say I was just talking with an old friend. Ovan and I once pledged eternal brotherhood to each other. Like I care. Answer me, Ovan. What are you doing here? The same thing you are. What? I'm searching for a way to escape from the Ida server. After all, I don't plan on being here forever. Is that not your ultimate objective as well? As members of GU? But how? I want to know how you know about GU. Who told you? What is it that you want? Please, calm down, Master Haseo. I assure you that our objective, and his, is to investigate the IDA server and to use that information to escape. 
In other words, we are all comrades in arms, and there's no reason for us to fight amongst ourselves. Investigator? Honestly, Yada's just wasting our time. What do you mean? He already knows the means by which we could escape. What are you saying? Am I wrong, Pai? If this server was based off of an original CC Corp server, there should be an operation folder somewhere. Operation folder? A file that unifies and manages the entire system that makes up the world. If one could control it, one could then make it possible to send character data to a regular server. Yara is the longtime leader of Project GU. Naturally, he would know everything about the world. There is no way that he would not be aware of the operation folder. Pi! <laughs> is that true? Did Yara really know about all this? That's. Tell us the truth, Pi! Did that ass really know about the existence of the Operation Folder and not tell us? We... We didn't have any proof. That's why... Master Yada... Proof? Can we afford to take time to look for something like that? But we don't know the dangers! Is there any place in this entire world without danger? Now why would Yada not tell you about the folder? Perhaps... It's because he never had any desire at all... to escape. Oh. Everything felt by the players trapped in this game. Fear, sorrow, anger, confusion. This server is filled with such intense feelings. Now what better place could there be to observe Ida's caustic effects on players and their characters? Yes, that's right. This is his ideal laboratory. So we're all just his guinea pigs? <sighs> Neither you nor Yada ever had any intention of saving Adelie, did you? Haseo, listen. Shut up! What kind of lie are you gonna tell me now? Using people like they were nothing. Telling them whatever they want to hear! Do you want to know what I think about that? Haseo! Don't stop me, Kuhn! Stop it! There'll be no hope for Adelie if we fight each other here. Nevertheless, I agree with you, Haseo. Kuhn! We're going back to the Serpent of Lore to confirm this with Yada. We'll talk after that. <laughs> Ovan. So, you know Yada too? Yes, he's an old friend. Give him my best regards. We will meet again, Haseo. This is ridiculous. Everyone's always hiding something from me. I'll continue with the investigation, then. Please do. All right, let's go.
right? So let's hear it. The truth. Why didn't you tell us about the Operation Folder? I was only keeping quiet until I was able to obtain proof. It would not have been right to confuse you all with a mere unsubstantiated theory. That's a nice way of putting it. We will now proceed to infiltrate the Operation Folder and conduct a Force Transfer Command. How? We will use Tri-Edge's signs. These signs possess traits that allow them to be used as transportation devices. In other words, chaos gates that were made by Ida. There are holes in CC Corp's server, and consequently, holes in Ida's server as well. Master Yada was putting together a transfer program designed to make reverse use of those holes. No telling how much of that is true. The only hole we've identified that connects to the Operation Folder can be found at Delta Hidden Forbidden Bulwark on the Moragu Barrel Wall. Haseo, Pai, and Kuhn, you will infiltrate the Operation Folder using Triedge's sign to gain access. You will then execute the transfer command from the same folder. I have already given Pi instructions on how to configure and execute the program. Head for Morugu Barrel Wall and investigate the sign. Understood. <laughs> Fine. go ahead and put in a cut here and I will catch you guys later have a good day